Thank you. Thank you again. We'll continue right away with the head coach and uh, captain today for South Africa, of course, uh, Jacques Ninaba and Bongi Umbanambi. Uh, once again, uh, I will go straight to questions from the room. And again, a reminder to please wait for the microphone and to give your name and the name of the media organization that you're representing. Start over here, please. Hi, Jacques. Stephen here from Fair Sports. Jacques, in the last three games, the Springboks have started really well and, and started quite quickly, which has been something that they've struggled with in the last couple of years. And generally, when we started well, got on to, to, to go on to win the match. What do you, um, what, what, what do you think has changed in the mindset that we managed to have these sort of starts where, where the team has managed to score quite quickly and convert pressure into points? Uh, I think... <clears throat> Uh, the, the, I think you can't uh, you, you, you can't plan for a good or bad start, but you can plan for or you can start with intensity, and and that's because I mean sometimes you're gonna you're gonna score early or you're not gonna score early. You can can concede early, but it uh, it, it it is what it is. But I think um, you can always start with intensity because that's under your control. I don't think having a good start in terms of getting points on the board is in, always in your control. Sometimes. Destiny is just not in your in your way, but I thought that we, we started with massive intensity uh, today, so very happy about that. In the front row, please. Uh, good evening, Jock, and uh, congrats on the result. Um, the experiments for scrum halves, Marco and Dion, just talk us through how well those went for you. Yeah, I think. Um, so internally, we, we obviously we had massive respect for Romania, and we really gave them a lot of attention during the week. Uh, and not an analysis went on to them, but we also wanted to get some something out of the game uh, for us. And uh, and obviously th that was the um, giving guys opportunity. It always we always say, listen, this guy covers fly off, Fof covers fly off was he's our third fly off, but you want to see him in a game in a World Cup uh, where, where we can get some experience during the week training there. The same with the, other, the nines today at wing, uh, the same with Marku and, and yeah. So I think in terms of uh, using three hookers, in terms of using four nines uh, and getting guys opportunity and playing in a World Cup, uh, that was one of our goals. And uh, yeah, I thought uh, yeah, uh, uh, there was some good and bad in that. Um, Bongi, this is for you. Uh, the reserve hookers, you know what I mean, they, they were hitting their lineups. Did you work with them on that particular skill? Was there anything that you were offering in terms of advice, um, technique, psychology of throwing to the line, anything like that? Uh, yeah, no, 100%. Uh, I mean, if you look at Dion, Dion has been playing hooker since the Stormers days, I think, with uh, Coach Jock. I started playing hooker there and obviously uh, moved on to flank. So Dion um, um, uh, knows uh, line out throwing. And I mean, uh, uh, credit to our locks for keeping things very simple and clean. Uh, yeah, yeah, we was coming to Marco. Marco has been doing uh, Lalan throwing session with us since uh, camp, since camp in Pretoria. So uh, Marco has always um, uh, uh, covered the hook if anything happened. Uh, yeah, I mean today they did, they, uh, they did a good job. Credit to them. Bonjour Jacques, Pablo Rodas, Media Olympic. Euh, Qu'est-ce que vous avez pensé du, base, du match de Cobius Reina et à quel point ces trois essais en début de match vous font du bien Please ask it again. I missed the first part. It was very soft. Qu'est-ce que vous avez pensé du match de Cobius Reina et à quel point les trois essais qui marquent vous font du bien Yeah, in terms of yeah, Corpus's three uh, tries, yeah, um, 
Uh, yeah, he did it in 2019. I think he's got the quickest uh, uh, hat trick in in World Cup history. I might be wrong, but I think that is something that he achieved in 2019. And 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 today, I think he was a couple of minutes out uh, on his own record. So no, it was fantastic. Um, him and uh, credit to all the guys that scored. I mean, Mampimpi, who's man of the match, scored three tries. Grant on the other wing scored two tries. So yeah, there was a couple of tries. Uh, um, uh, around and I think uh, there was a couple that we missed uh, which we will have a look at uh, on, on tomorrow and, and on Monday uh, on uh, Monday on Tuesday and 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 yeah try and fix that from her, please hi uh, you had Vincent drop out in the warm-up it looks yeah. like a, a knee injury from what people mm. were saying online what can you tell us about that how's he looking and any other injuries in the squad yeah, no, uh, Vincent, yeah, unfortunately, uh, he hobbled in the warm-up and, and uh, yeah, it was, I think it's his knee. Uh, um, th th that's what they, yeah, it's his knee. And yeah, no, I don't have an idea how, how bad it is or, or anything like that. And in terms of the other injuries, no, I, I, like I said last week, the doc will probably go through it now. We'll have a better understanding of it um, uh, maybe tonight, a little bit later. And then if there must be any specialist investigations done, we'll probably get done tonight and tomorrow. Go here and then here. Bonjour Frédéric Ormarie du journal Sud-Ouest. Euh, vos buteurs ont raté quatre coups de pied euh, la semaine dernière contre l'Écosse. Encore quatre aujourd'hui. Est-ce que c'est euh, le principal souci pour vous aujourd'hui uh, I think uh, we had 11 conversions uh, taken today with two different kickers and I think they nailed uh, the one was a penalty try, so they didn't have to kick that. But uh, I think they missed four. Yeah, like you say, four out of 11. They must just keep on working. Not an issue for me. Go here. White stripes and then at the back of the room, please. Um, Jack, just to, to come back on your first reply about your experiments, you, you said that there were some good and bad uh, things about these experiments. Can you please develop? Thank you. Oh, sorry, Simon Walser, Media Olympic, but we don't care. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, we will have a look at them. I think, yeah, obviously, uh, um, having a, a ground scoring two tries, um, and he's a specialist nine, that can be a, a, a third option at wing. Uh, the same with Fof, uh, specialist nine, but can be a third option uh, at fly-off. So yeah, I think that the fact that they had a game time in that position, so obviously they trained in those positions during the week, so they got a, a couple of reps in training, and then uh, having, having to do that under pressure in the conditions against a team like Romania today, yeah, that was the positive out of it. And, and obviously, you, you, there will be some things that you can see you could do be better because it's easier in training. There's no pressure uh, um, on you. But, but doing it for your country in a World Cup, uh, there's pressure to execute. So, yeah, it's, but, but we will probably pick up certain things that, that they didn't execute that well, and we'll work on that. Bonjour Jacques, Nicolas Paolorsi pour la radio RMC. Euh, Qu'est-ce que vous attendez désormais après le, le début de compétition parfaite du match contre l'Irlande et quelle est l'importance de, de ce match dans l'optique d'un quart de finale contre la Nouvelle-Zélande ou la France ou l'Italie Merci. Yeah, we, we will probably... We've got a short turnaround, so we'll probably enjoy tonight, uh, but in a probably controlled manner because we plan six days uh, again. Uh, but we will start making plans for, for, for Ireland tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it will obviously be a, 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 it will be a big game in terms of, uh, of who finishes one or two in, in, the, in the pool. Um, Maybe not, you know, we still have Tonga, we've got, so there's still games to be played, we're only halfway, so I don't want to get too far ahead in terms of, of that, and, and uh, in terms of who we play, if it's, if, it's, uh, if it's Italy, if it's France, if it's uh, New Zealand, I mean, it's going to be a tough quarterfinal, doesn't matter, 
so um, who we play. And we can't determine that. We can only play and prepare as well as we can for the next game. And then destiny will, will, will decide who we play in the quarterfinal. And, and we, are, we knew that it will be down that route. Um, and uh, yeah, we're happy with that. Uh, we'll go in the white here, please, and then we'll take a question from the left. Hi, Jack. Rory O'Connor, Irish Independent. Um, what have you made of Ireland so far, and how ready do you feel your team is for the challenge? Yes, I'll be 100% honest with you. I've, um, uh, I didn't look at, I watched the game, uh, but I, di I didn't look at it from an analytical point of view. And, and like I mentioned last week, for us, uh, it was, was focusing on, on today's match. And, and uh, respecting them with the proper respect they, Romania, needed and, and put all the effort into that. But also our players that play tonight, we, we had to make sure that we, we can't think about Ireland if, uh, because it will be disrespectful towards the players that we selected for this game. Our job was to make sure that they are as good uh, prepared for this specific match to perform, to give them an opportunity to get selected next week. So that was the focus. Watched Ireland, scanned them a little bit, but uh, the, the analysis on them will start tomorrow. Uh, probably we'll have to have a look and see what our uh, injury status look. Uh, are we ready for them, uh, or do we feel ready for them? Uh, we'll probably have a good look at um, at what the the injuries look like tonight. Uh, I think uh, credit to Romania. Uh, there will be some sore bodies there tonight. There was um, uh, some proper shots in that uh, in that game. Uh, so we'll have a look uh, and see where we are from an injury point of view. And like I said, then we'll make decisions on team selection uh, uh, probably during tomorrow and on uh, Tuesday and announce it on Tuesday internally. And yeah, then we'll go. Uh, Jacques, Yen, Yen, yeah. Um, it's a two-part question. The first part is, what do you enjoy most? The 76 points you scored or the zero that you gave away? I think, uh, like I said, we, we, had, we had specific goals in, this, uh, in, in w w w w what we wanted to achieve. And, and for me, that was the internal pressure. So the players knew what we want to achieve uh, for on different levels, on, on a plan level. I mean, we wanted to give Marku some 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 time uh, as a hooker scrumming, throwing in, you know, but it can only happen if we're in a good position, you know, otherwise you can't, you can't uh, make those little plan changes uh, from, a, from a selection point of view or a substitution point of view. Uh, and again, we wanted to get Bongi off after 40 uh, to get uh, Dion uh, and Marku uh, sharing the hooker load in the second half, but that can only happen when, when, when they, they, they did a proper start. So there was some internal pressure on us. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I must say, um, uh, fr from, a, from a, a defensive point of view, uh, like I said, we, we really gave Romania a lot of uh, attention in the week. I we, were, we were well prepared. We had our defense session uh, at Stade Mayol uh, in front of, I think there was a couple of thousand people. Uh, it was an open session for us, so there was a nice vibe at the training session, and we, we worked really hard uh, to make sure that we are well prepared from them, for them from a defensive point of view, so obviously happy with the, with the, with the performance that went out there. The fact that it, that, that it went to 76 points or went to zero points, I mean, you, uh, sometimes the scoreboard goes for you or against you, but the effort was there, the intensity was there, and that I really enjoyed. You touched on the intensity, but um, given the, the way the guys performed, uh, has your selection process for the big game next week suddenly become a lot more complicated? I think from a selection point of view, we always, uh, um, we, we open and honest with the players. They know how our heads, um, where our heads are at and how we, how we look at things and uh, what we're thinking. Uh, we'll probably share that with them uh, even uh, tonight. We will tell them this is, this is what we're thinking. Don't they hold the gun against our head that we are going to go that route. But it's, we certainly have an idea in our minds what we want to do uh, for, the next, for the next game. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
and that's the, uh, it's nice that there's uh, s a such good internal competition within this group, you know, and, and a positive competition, like the question was with Bongi, does he help, did he help the guys, uh, you know, and, and he did. Uh, he put effort into them as much as, as he put into his own game, and that's the beauty of where the squad is currently at. There's nice competition, and there's not a big gap between the players currently. Uh, and unfortunately, some guys will be unlucky, but their job then moves from uh, playing the game against Ireland to, to being Ireland in the week uh, and be the best version of Ireland that they can be to make sure that we get the right pictures and that we are well prepared for Ireland. I'm afraid we've only got time for one more question, so I'll go with the yellow, please. Hi, Jack. Um, with uh, Dion and Marco uh, having game time at Hooker today, uh, did this game help you to make your choice uh, regarding uh, Malcolm Marx and his replacement? And uh, have you made the choice? Yeah, no, the, the decision on a replacement will probably happen tonight. Uh, we didn't want to even discuss it as a coaching group before we went uh, into this test match. Um, and that decision will be made tonight based on, like Vincent didn't uh, he was supposed to start the game and and he couldn't continue and and then France had to step up from a, uh, in a bench Trevi had to go into uh, starting the game so obviously there's a little bit of injury uh, worries uh, within the side so we will have a proper look and assessment on where we are currently from a from a fitness point of view and then we will make a decision uh, uh, based on uh, who we will get in uh, uh, for a replacement for 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 Malcolm. Okay, that will be the final question. I'd like to thank you both, and uh, thank you all. And a reminder that the mix zone will now open. Thank you very much. Thank you.